All right, it's time for another movie over here at the Regal. It's going to be, uh, it's rated like PG, so it's a daytime movie. It is a cartoon, but it is from a foreign land. It is another one of them Studio Ghibli movies. Yeah, so this one is called Nasika of the Wind Valley or something like that. So, uh, yeah, I've never seen it before, never seen a trailer, but whenever I get back out to the car, I will tell you what I thought about it. Yeah. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So, here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do. As a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, for what it's worth, I'm THE Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. All right, Nasika of the Wind Valley. Well, um, there was more bugs than I would have expected. <laughs> yeah, so this one I thought was actually pretty interesting, you know, with the... It was kind of gross. I don't like bugs. So it was like, but the, all the bug designs, they're like really cool, you know? It was like the first part, the very first like scene where she's in like a bug graveyard sort of thing. It's, uh, it was pretty cool. It, it was giving me, you know, like some Geiger vibes, you know, from the first Alien. You know, when they go inside the ship, that sort of thing. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it was, I saw the subtitled version. So, um, the performance just seemed, seemed fine. The art was really good, you know. But the art is always really good in these Studio Ghibli movies, that sort of thing. The so <laughs> yeah, it's like so so this girl, right? She like she's uh she's like like trying to scavenge you know, pieces of these dead bugs so they can make tools and weapons out of them. And they, they live in a society that's, like, all about, uh, like, uh, farming, agriculture. That's what, that's the word I'm trying to get to. <laughs> yeah, it's like agriculture, but they live right on the edge of, they call, it's like this wasteland, you know, where everything was burnt up in the great war between the giants and the and the and the bugs that sort of thing and then but then there's these other cultures right and they're like there's like a more militaristic culture that's like all trying to come and <laughs> they're like we're gonna you join us and we're going to get rid of the wasteland and and heal the earth and all this sort of stuff so i was like oh, spoilers i'll just say spoilers so it's like, the girl, you know, she like kind of, she thinks that the bad stuff isn't actually bad necessarily. So that there's something wrong with the ground. But if you use like good water, the plants and the, the spores, all this sort of stuff, it like, it's fine. Because they have to wear these masks, right? So it was giving me like, some Last of Us vibes, I, although this would have predated Last of Us, so, you know, <laughs> but I thought it was, that was pretty interesting, and <clears throat> because, like, her dad is sick or something like that, so she's trying to heal him, she thinks she can heal him with this stuff, but she's a, she's basically like a bug whisperer, she's, she's able to to calm them down and direct them in a different direction when they're going to attack, that sort of thing. So the militaristic people, they come in and they, they just starts this big war sort of thing. And, and then it, it makes the bugs mad. <laughs> it's a whole to do. She ends up getting, uh, she goes underground and she finds the secrets of the bug world sort of thing. And it's like the bugs, they're actually good. They're trying to do good things. <laughs> but the other people don't believe it because they're just trying to... So there's this whole thing about how the bugs are going to attack. There's this big battle. It kind of looks like the end of Endgame, 
Marvel, <laughs> which of course that would have been inspired by the other thing. But that's so, like, because it was just kind of like a dark red, gloomy sort of like there's going to be this big battle. And so, yeah, so it's like the militaristic culture, they're like trying to revive like this big, uh, this giant thing that used to fight the bugs back in the day and it's like a whole lot of the giants fell in the final battle way back when and all that sort of thing but one got buried so they got this idea to to like get it to be resurrected basically but it's like <laughs> to fight you know and they're gonna finally defeat the bugs once and for all and all this sort of thing so but to to lure them to into battle there's these these dudes like steal a baby bug, and so that's what makes the bugs all mad. They're coming to rescue the baby bug. So. But yeah, overall, I thought the movie it, it looked really cool. I thought the story was was pretty interesting. You know, it was pretty good. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna talk about that one. Those are my first thoughts and opinions after seeing Nasika of the Wind Valley. Yeah. So I'm throwing those thoughts and opinions up on the thoughts and opinions pile. They'll soon be buried by everybody else's, obviously. You can tell me your thoughts and opinions, though. You can put them in the comment section, and like, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And, you know, other than that, just don't forget to feed your cat. And be nice to bugs. Yeah.